G'day, Paul and Pauline here, down by Stoomers Creek, uh, near our home, a short walk from our home, and there's some canoeists going past us, lovely spot along the creek here. And we're going to bring you our Bible reading today from the creek, and we're talking about the fear of the Lord. In Job 28, verse 28, and to man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. So we need to get wisdom and understanding, and that includes the fear of the Lord. Proverbs 10, 27. The fear of the Lord prolongs life, but the years of the wicked will be shortened. Proverbs 14.27 The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life that one may avoid the snares of death. Proverbs 19 verse 23 The fear of the Lord leads to life so that one may sleep satisfied untouched by evil. In Isaiah 33 verse 6 it says this And he will be the stability of your times a wealth of salvation, wisdom and knowledge. The fear of the Lord is treasure. It is his silver and gold. Pauline will read some now from some from the top of the page. Keep the wind off the mic with his hat. These just help us to realise that the fear of the Lord is not just a healthy thing, it's very necessary. Psalm 128 Behold, for thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. Proverbs 8.13 The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Pride and arrogance and the evil way and the perverted mouth I hate. Psalm 33 verse 8 Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. That's easy to do. Verse 34. Come, ye children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Joshua 24:14. Now fear the Lord and serve him with all faithfulness. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Amen. We agree with that. We respect and fear the Lord. And as for us, Pauline and I and our household, we will serve the Lord gladly. Mm. Happy to please him, happy to do anything he asks. Even to do, if it is just meeting someone along the way, as a lady just walked past here, needed to talk a little bit, and she did, and she told us her sister had recently died from an unknown pneumonia death and she was only 41 and we were able to comfort her by saying Jesus tells us blessed are those who mourn for they will be comforted what a great thing it is to be able to serve the Lord with gladness and to bring his word to you especially so you have a good day get into the word and let the word of God get into you hallelujah Let's pray for that lady as she walked past today. Father God, you know this lady, Elizabeth. You know that she is grieving and mourning the loss of her sister. Father, we pray that you will be with her and you will comfort her. She is searching and she knows that she has to open the door when you knock and she can keep seeking you and you will be found by her. Bless her now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. See you later. Bye. Bye.